Thank goodness for that. Oh, oh! Welcome to Halo Infinite's brand new Battle Royale experience, Temperance. Created by the very talented Forgers, Distorted Jackal, Ethan Hibbs, Lloyd Mary Jane, Pissed Off Cat, and Power Goblet. Man, I just love Forgers gamer tags. They have forged an incredible new Battle Royale within Halo Infinite that truly leaves me wanting more. Of course, link to the map and mode will be down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, which I highly recommend. But let's dive into what makes this map so special. You load into the game with up to 24 players and you enter your drop pod that's right they have an actual working drop pod in this game mode which is just so cool oh dude what wow that is sick i know i don't care about the lore implications that a spartan can drop down to a planet and survive without the need of a drop pod i i don't want to hear it Hopping into a drop pod and landing is something that I and many other Halo fans have always dreamed of being like an official thing. So the fact that people are able to forge that nowadays is truly mind blowing. But you drop into this beautiful frozen valley surrounded by forerunner structures with only one objective. Be the last Spartan standing. Last Spartan standing is by far one of my favorite modes that ever came to Halo Infinite. But I'm super bummed that it seems to have been kind of put to the side and shelved by 343. But thankfully the Halo community I was always clutch up and they have been creating a bunch of fun experiences just like temperance here to keep the mood alive and well and honestly pushing it past what the initial kind of scope for it was last spartan standing could truly be the best mode in halo infinite in my opinion far bigger than just playing on btb maps so i would love to see 343 revisit it and maybe utilizing these community made maps to make last spartan standing truly great on top of that the forgers have done a fantastic job of utilizing forge to its absolute limit the map is absolutely massive. Like every time I played it, I felt like I was exploring a totally new part of the map. And they've also utilized AI in Forge, which is dope because obviously AI being in Forge allows for some really fun custom game moments. So say you load into this game with your buddies, but maybe one of you isn't the best PVP player. Well, they can go shoot a grunt and get a better weapon from them right off the bat. I know a lot of people have wanted to see an official battle royale set within the Halo universe. I am one of them. I don't want it to take over and become the only thing that Halo is known for, but having it as like a side mode is something that I would totally love. But these experiences created by the community just show the kind of potential that a battle royale set within Halo could truly bring. From this to what the Forge Falcons have made and Schisma is also working on a completely different battle royale experience, we are eating very good right now. And I just want to say a massive thank you to every Forger that either works on a battle royale mode or works on a fun little game mode with their buddy or just makes literally anything. Thank you to Forgers for continuing to make fun modes and experiences within Halo Infinite. The Forge in this game is obviously mind-blowing. If you play matchmaking, you've probably put a ton of time into Forge maps at this stage because the game is full of them. And with that said, the direction that I kind of want to go with my channel is featuring more and more community-made content. I'm going to highlight and showcase the awesome stuff that Forgers are making. So I'm going to ask you guys a pretty big question. If you know of any maps and modes that you feel definitely definitely deserve to be showcased here on the channel. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know about it. If I see your comment, if it gets a bunch of thumbs up or a lot of people support what you've said, I will check it out and I will potentially make a video on it. I feel like the Forge and custom community in Halo Infinite needs more support and I definitely want to push that. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the Temperance Battle Royale highlights that I played on my stream the other day. I definitely plan on streaming more custom stuff now that the new networking update is out. I know it's not perfect, but it has helped customs a ton. A lot of physics related stuff in customs now work a lot better, like Jenga, for example, actually operates pretty much perfectly. So I'm super excited for the future. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm dead. <laughs> if I'm going down, you're coming with me, Thomas. <laughs> Typical scummy, just camping. Laz, lock it in. Come on, Ken. Bloop. You could have had the ninja. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Go back to forge. <laughs> What the tryhard? Damn, shocking. This is disgusting. He's on 8 million DPI, has three weapons, 
teleported himself into the zone because he just <laughs> wanted to glow it like that for whatever reason. <laughs> and he missed the teleport. <laughs> It's a one-way teleporter. Oh my god. <laughs> he, has a, he has a second chance for his mistake. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, oh wow. Alright. These mouse and keyboard players cannot be trusted. Alright, we're on board with Shocking Legend with the shock rifle in his hand, living up to everything that he ever wants to be known for. Twisting Stu 69, trying a 69 with a fusion coil. We'll see how that works out for him. Huh? Huh? But skills a on the other hand, the person that never plays Halo, but as soon as a battle royale is mentioned, he is straight in the lobby. Will that be enough to carry him through? But shocking, needs to find a target. Gets a little bit stuck in the low ground here, but twisting up in the high ground with that fusion coil still in his hands, deeply nestled between his body and him. Skills a is trying to mountain climb. Needs to take a few lessons from me as I used to be a climbing instructor for those that didn't know. Somehow he manages to sneak his way up. It looks like he's playing Skyrim right now, trying to hop up the cliffside, but he does make it in the end. Does find a target, shocking. Needs to, oh, and shocking. Just demolishes Skills a with the biggest headshot I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Shocking legend versus twisting kills himself. And I didn't catch it. Oh my god. I was literally about to press RB and it didn't fucking switch. Oh my god, I'm pissed. What the? I don't know why, but just seeing the Razorback really threw me off. Oh, shocking. God, I feel so good that that was you. Oh man, that felt great. Oh. <gasps> Oh god, that felt even better. Can we get a fuck you scummy one time in the chat? I'm kidding, don't do that, it's toxic. Oh my god. Thank goodness for that. Oh, oh my god, I'm so mad. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Oh my god, I'm actually so angry. Oh my god, I'm so angry. As soon as I saw the coil, I knew I was dead. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. <laughs> I can't believe that. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm dead. Yep. Scummy camping with the shock. Let's go. You know, I feel like this is going to be a mistake because I feel like these aren't even like working that well currently. Ah, oh, man. Oh, what a shot. What the? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No ammo. Literally no idea where they just disappeared to. Yes! I did it! <laughs> I can finally make that video. <laughs> Shocking, you made the great escape. That was crazy how fast you got away. Whew. There we go, I finally got a win, Jesus.